I would lie to you and say the solar eclipse is still going on. But that would be a lie. It is 1.36 a.m. So yeah, definitely the solar eclipse is done over with. Welcome everybody to another daily vlog. A vlog that happens sometimes daily, sometimes late, late at night. I forgot to set my brakes. Definitely cannot drop a trailer without setting your brake. It is really hard to see this early in the morning. I shouldn't be doing this this early. I'm actually out this morning at a turkey processing plant. Not a chicken, but a turkey. I wonder what they use these things for for turkeys. What is this silo for? Feathers? I, I don't know. Honest, I really don't know. This place actually makes sandwich meat. It's Jenny O. Turkey. And I'm in the middle of nowhere, Wisconsin, up towards the Canadian border. And I, I know what they make here, and I know what I'm picking up, but I don't know what things like this are actually doing on this property. Why do you need something like that? at a turkey processing plant. Well, I guess it's for them to know and for me to have a blurry screen. I drove around this entire parking lot and could not find this trailer. It was sitting right there all along. Ugh, 30 minutes wasted. Get ready to slide these axles. For those that don't know, Usually when you back into a door, you have to put these tires all the way back to the back of the trailer, but you don't need those when you're driving because it's against the law. You can't drive with the axles spread all the way into the back. So I have to move these tires up about here somewhere. And to do that, you have to release an air, air valve. It's just too dark, you can't see it, but there's an air valve down there. You pull it, it pulls these pins in that release these wheels and I could just back up and pull forward and the whole trailer will slide slide those tires what do you think up next it can be a little bit jarring it can be just a little bit jarring sometimes but once it's done it's a relief all right so i guess next thing to do is punch in on google any message has arrived and see what message that is and start heading back to North Carolina which is odd I never come from Minnesota or Wisconsin and go all the way back to North Carolina normally when I'm up here I head south usually to Georgia or Florida so maybe we got a new run I don't know I, I guess I'm okay with it as long as it keeps me busy I'm happy I'll be happier if I could get this cup filled with some warm brown goodness hot goodness i think i'm gonna do that for a little while though it's windy the sun is up and it's windy look at those clouds or not the clouds what is that the flag look at the flag why would i say look at the cloud the cloud doesn't move well, the cloud probably does move at least in time lapse form i worked until about seven o'clock this morning and i slept i slept the slept of, the sleep of dreams. I don't know what, how you sleep, I, I, I slept pretty, pretty good. It's two o'clock in the afternoon now. And look where I am, look where, look where I slept this morning. See that? That's the orange moose. That's the orange moose. And I uh, figured I'd park here because I knew it was gonna be windy and blasting my microphone. That That's what I expected. No, not, not really. I just figured it'd be a nice morning. Um, nice afternoon morning for me. I go over and say hi to my moosey friend and maybe the mouse over here and grab a cup of coffee and head on down the road. But I don't think I'm going to show you guys 
my moosey friend this morning. I think if I walk away from this truck too far, the wind is just going to hammer the microphone. I can't have that. Well, I got my coffee, got back to my truck, and I realized I forgot to toss some garbage away. Yeah, I got a lot of garbage this time today. I don't know how it builds up. I really don't do too much to create, to generate that much garbage. So much garbage, it won't fit in the can. No, Mr. Mouse, it's not a trap. It's not a trap. Well, now it's time to hit the road, hoping that I can miss the city of Chicago with very minimum traffic. Hopefully I can get there and all the traffic will be done and I can just mosey on through, head on down towards Indianapolis and out in the middle of Indiana, spend the night again or the morning again. I'm probably going to be working most of the night. Really not a big fan of pulling all-nighters. I prefer to drive in the daytime. But this isn't too bad. It is now 3.52. It's 3.52 in the afternoon. So at least I'd be able to drive a couple hours in the daytime. Shut down about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. If I could find parking. Fingers crossed. And uh, do it all again tomorrow. Doesn't I, I really don't know how well that's going to translate to a vlog. Because there's really nothing to see. Especially if I'm driving at night. It sure did not take too long for that sun to go down. I just love these all-nighters. All-nighters. Well, it is dark outside. Didn't take too long. I've only stopped a couple times. Today is... Let me, let me put you guys down here. I, you're not on the tripod. There we go. You're in my hand. I'm, I'm trying to control everything robotically through my hand. But uh, today's one of those days where I really don't have anything to vlog, really. It's just, I started so early in the morning, slept a little bit in the daytime, and continued on. But I have to put out a daily vlog. I haven't missed a day in forever. I've never missed a day. Never. Except on my almost daily vlog channel. Obviously, I miss days there. It's days like this where I was thinking in the past, should I just, like, record three videos a week? And, 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 and that way I can always make sure I have content but I haven't started doing that yet. So I'm still trying to put out a daily vlog, even if there's nothing to record. Nothing to record. I've had a couple questions about a truck tour. Can I do a cab tour? Stephanie, the girl I'm seeing out in Boise, Idaho, actually would probably like to see that also. So maybe one of these days I'll do a, I'll clean up in here and kind of tidy up a little bit and do a quick tour of that. But since I'm on my 30 minute break right now, what I'm thinking is uh, uh, something else people have asked me, uh, the gimbals, what is a gimbal? And I've shot videos on them before. I, I actually have you guys on a gimbal right now. See, I'm moving around, I'm shaking. My hand is shaking pretty hard, look at that. But the camera stays pretty steady because it's a robotic gimbal that your phone sits in. But I have other kinds of gimbals also that I have loaned out in the past and I they were gone for so long I kind of forgot how to use them I used uh, one of them the other day when I was in North Carolina to shoot video and I actually forgot how to transfer the video from the other gimbal to the devices where I can edit and stuff like that I was able to upload them but I wasn't able to upload them with audio so I got to learn how to reuse my regular gimbal and uh, but the good thing is I do have it sitting here so I can show people that were asking what is a gimbal and are gimbals for me if you walk around and shoot a lot of video get get a handheld gimbal uh, I would if, if you're gonna start just fresh there's a couple cheap gimbals out there you can pick up for a, a 125 bucks or something or you could blow $299 and get one like this which is a DJI Osmo Mobile. And, and this gimbal has a little robotic arm on it that you slide your phone into. Similar to the gimbal I'm going to show you, except it comes 
with a built-in 4k camera mounted on it and it, it, it's pretty amazing it's just it, it's more complicated than this device this device the hardest part is turning on your phone pressing the power button and touch and touching your fingerprint to unlock the phone that's probably the hardest part about using the dji osmo mobile this other one requires a little bit of setup i try and keep it set up most of the time so i can grab it and go with it if i need to but i i i i don't use it as much as i thought i did and it it, it, it it's a lot more than 299 dollars, especially as you, if you start adding on accessories so anyway let me show you the osmo the regular dj osmo but there is some accessories on it i do have a couple things i'll explain those real fast this right here is the dji osmo it's the osmo it's it's a pretty amazing piece of equipment and it it, it it's actually incredible for image stabilization as you're walking around i do have it on a monopod right now but it's when i turn it around here Get away from the microphone. So you do have a handle, so you can carry it around with you, and it, it, it's pretty. It's a good piece of equipment. It I it was my only camera equipment for quite a while, and uh, some of the videos that I've taken with it when I was out, like in Montana, at the Bear Sanctuary, and other places like that, came out really, really smooth and stable. Not that this device doesn't do it neither. This device actually does a great job. But mo when you first purchase this, all this stuff isn't part of it. This this Z-axis image stabilization arm does not come with it. That's a special purchase. This camera can unsnap. I could take this off, and this camera will sit just on the handle. So just picture all this gone with just this camera sitting in here. And that's what you get when you first buy it. And it, it actually works really incredible. But then you start thinking to yourself, wow, I, this, this thing has so many accessories. Why don't I go ahead and get them? So my first accessory was actually the Z-axis, which when you walk, you bounce kind of. This here kind of floats and keeps the whole thing stable. I mean, it could be bouncing like this. And you think, man, the, the video is going to come out terrible. But no, for so, because this all moves too. So let, let, let me turn it on here real fast. Let's see here. Unlock has three locks on it. Let's boot it up and watch what I'm talking about. So it like right now it's on, but the camera, the camera itself will tilt and up and down and keep it always steady as this thing's bouncing around. So that actually keeps everything pretty stable and it, it it's all robotic and it, it's a pretty neat piece of equipment and you could tilt you could pan left pan right you can go up and down it, it's it's pretty neat i must say and it does use your mobile device so you can use you use your mobile device as a monitor and then when you're done recording video you you should be able to or i've been able to in the past use the built-in wi-fi that's built into this thing to push the videos to my mobile device because there is no wires this actually produces its own wi-fi hotspot and you just connect your mobile device to its wi-fi and you could transfer video and photos but i tried it the other day and it wasn't working properly it just wasn't working properly but for people that have been asking me especially lately and don't have the patience to go scroll back 200 videos that is a gimbal and it's very similar to the one i'm talking to you guys on except this camera right here is actually the camera on my phone so it doesn't have that really it it's this this whole mechanism you has a mount on it and you slide your phone into it so it's basically the same, except this is more run and gun because your phone's already in it. That one there requires a little bit of setup, connection to the Wi-Fi and everything else. This connects via Bluetooth. And actually the Bluetooth does transfer video a lot faster than the built-in Wi-Fi that this has. This, this can take a couple minutes 
per clip that you're uploading. Whereas this one here, it's just pretty much instantaneous. So anyway, that is the DJI Osmo and what a gimbal is. I know, not too much content. I figured I would knock out at least a question that people have been asking. I'm going to go ahead and edit today's terrible daily vlog and get it up so I don't, I, I need to get it up before midnight because it's a daily vlog. So what's going on tomorrow is, uh, I don't know where I'm spending the night tonight. I'm on my 30 minute break. I'm going to probably drive through Indianapolis, Indiana and start heading back towards North Carolina. Sleep somewhere between Indy and Ohio. That's the plan. Wake up in the morning, continue on, try and make North Carolina by tomorrow evening, and then deliver at Walmart Distribution Center in Henderson, North Carolina, sometime on the 24th. I think I can do it. I think I can. All right, everybody. I love you all. And until the next one, peace out.